In today's video, we'll be looking at a fantastic buy to get one free sale that Target is running right now that'll let you to get some great deals on some recently released PlayStation 4 titles. On top of that, there are a couple of other great deals available, including a deal on Diablo 3 and a deal on Banner Saga Trilogy. Also, if you're excited for Spyro the Reignited Trilogy and you never checked out Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, Activision has announced that they'll be releasing a bundle for both of those games at one low price. That is something to definitely keep your eyes on. Also, last year we saw the release of .hack G last recall that was a collection of the three dot hack gu games and we have some commercial numbers announced for that game and it looks like it did pretty well given the niche stature of the game also focus home interactive the guys that published vampire earlier this year are enjoying tremendous success with that game so i want to give a mention to that and how they are reporting record revenue thanks to that game so more on that at the end of this video first again target is running a buy to get one free sale on all video games right now with a couple of exclusions i knew right away when target announced they were going to be running the sale every Everybody was going to be wanting to pick up Red Dead Redemption 2. Unfortunately, that is one of the exclusions as a part of this sale. So that is kind of unfortunate. You cannot use the buy to get one to include Red Dead Redemption 2 and effectively get that game for $40. But some games included are Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Marvel Spider-Man, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Soul Calibur 6 is there, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So there are a lot of great titles and very newly released games. Assassin's Creed Odyssey has yet to see a significant discount. I believe the deepest discount I've seen on that title was $49.99. Marvel Spider-Man has held up in value, as has Call of Duty Black Ops 4, so if you pick up those three games, you get all three for $120, and if you divide that by three, that means $40 a game, and that is pretty great for all of those titles. Soul Calibur 6 is also a very recent release, so to get that game as well for $40, that's not a bad deal, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider for $40 is quite a good deal as well. Now, I'm not all too amped up about this sale, because next month, we are going to have all of the Black Friday deals, and I imagine that Assassin's Creed Odyssey, much like Assassin's Creed Origins, will drop to $30, $35. AC Origins last year did drop to $30 over Black Friday. So I could see something similar with Odyssey. I could see a game like Soul Calibur 6 dropping to $34.99. I could see Shadow of the Tomb Raider dropping to $29.99. Marvel Spider-Man and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 will probably hold up in value, so this might be your best way to get those games, but I still imagine we'll see some sort of discounts on those over Black Friday. But Black Friday is a month away, and if you're eager to pick up any of these games, this buy to get one free sale is a great way to take advantage. Moving on from that, outside of the deals available at Target, Get. Best Buy has also got Diablo 3 The Eternal Collection down to $29.99, which is one of the best prices I've seen on that. That, of course, includes the base Diablo 3 game and all of the content that's been released up to this point, and $29.99 for that is very good, considering this is a game you can literally spend thousands of hours on. And do remember, if you have your GCU subscription intact, you will be getting it for $23.99, so that's an even better deal. And lastly, as far as deals go, Banner Saga Trilogy is down to $19.99, which is a tremendous deal, considering the Banner Saga games have really held up in value on the PlayStation Store, but with the Banner Saga Trilogy, you get Banner Saga 1, 2, and 3, and it's available for just $19.99. On top of that, you do get a mini art book and a collectible poster, and I've been very high on the Banner Saga game. I've said very good things about them, and it's so shocking to me that these games haven't resonated with gamers more. A beautiful, artistic, Viking-themed strategy RPG seems like something that would be up a lot more gamers' alley, but it really hasn't resonated to a high degree. However, it has done well enough for all three games to warrant their release, so that's at least good and the storytelling in these games are tremendous as well the banner saga is a trilogy of games that you should really play sequentially so don't think about like picking up banner saga 2 or banner saga 3 and just jump into that i would really recommend you play through banner saga 1 then 2 then 3 and that's how you're gonna get the best experience possible but to get all three games for $19.99 that is a excellent deal pretty much six dollars and change for each game and that's without a doubt the best price i've seen on the title moving on from that one of november's highly anticipated games is spyro the reignited trilogy and that is coming off the success that activision had with Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, and if you've yet to check out Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy and you're excited for the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, you'll want to know that there is a Spyro and Crash bundle being released. It's coming to the PlayStation 4 and it'll be priced at $59.99. It'll be including Spyro Reignited Trilogy as well as Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy. Spyro Reignited Trilogy standalone is being priced at $39.99, so essentially you're getting Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy for $19.99, so that's a pretty good deal. And to get both of them in one bundle, I would say is quite good, and say you pick this up at Best Buy and you enjoy a 20% off discount, both of these for $48, that is an absolute steal. And this bundle for any of you guys that had a PlayStation 1, chances are you already played a couple of these games, but all of the games have been recreated for the PlayStation 4. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy looks pretty good, and I have to say,
say, with the Reignited Trilogy, Activision has done a better job with that side of games, even compared to the Insane Trilogy, and I thought they did a good job with the Insane Trilogy, but the Reignited Trilogy for Spyro, those games look absolutely fantastic. Now, I do have to note that on the PlayStation 4 box art for this, it does say it requires content downloader. Originally, we thought the Spyro Reignited Trilogy was delayed for those games to be released physically, but it looks like a couple of those games still might be arriving digitally and acquire a download. It was said that Activision delayed the Spyro Reignited Trilogy for love and care without citing anything regarding the issue. So this is something interesting that really hasn't been covered. Hopefully Activision does put out all the games on disc, but I'm sure if you're a big enough Spyro fan, if you have to download Spyro 2 and Spyro 3, it's not going to be enough to push you away from buying the game, but still that is a little bit disappointing. Nonetheless, the Spyro and Crash game bundle will be dropping on November 13th, and again, it will be $59.99. Moving on from that, .hack GU last recode was released last year. I was a big fan of CyberConnect 2's work on .hack GU. It was one of the more underrated PlayStation 2 JRPG franchise, but it got a second wind on the PlayStation 4, and it looks like all things considered, it has done pretty well from a commercial standpoint. Over the last year, it has sold 300,000 copies physically and digitally. Now, compared to a lot of other games, if you compare .hack GU last recode to, say, Red Dead Redemption 2 or Call of Duty Black Ops 4, of course it pales in comparison to those games, but this is just a re-release of three already pretty niche PS2 JRPGs. So for this game to sell 300,000 copies, that's actually pretty good. This was officially announced through Cyber Connect 2's Twitter page saying, quote, celebrating 300 copies shipped worldwide, including digital distribution. Here is an anniversary illustration, and they have a piece of art posted alongside that. I was always of the notion that if .hack GU last recode did well enough, maybe we'd see a brand new game on a modern platform. I don't know if 300,000 copies is good enough for Cyber Connect 2. Again, on the surface, you might think this isn't that impressive of a number, but really with more niche collections like this, you have to keep your expectations in line, and I think Cyber Connect 2 and Bandai Namco are relatively happy with selling 300,000 copies in just a year. Also, moving on from that, and lastly, Focus Home Interactive, the guys that publish Vampire are reporting record revenue thanks to the success of Vampire. Specifically, they're reporting a record revenue of $44.3 million, and specifically thanks in part to Vampire's, quote, tremendous success. And Focus Home is set to continue to maximize the potential of the Vampire license in quarter three. The game was confirmed to see a release on the Nintendo Switch, so that's pretty cool. And maybe this is an IP that can turn into a full-fledged franchise. Of course, Focus Home Interactive will soon be publishing Call of Cthulhu, and Call of Cthulhu is a game that's seen a lot of comparisons to Vampire. Initially, I had thought that Vampire wouldn't do all too well commercially, but they proved me wrong with that. Right now, I'm predicting Call of Cthulhu to not do all too well commercially, so maybe they'll prove me wrong on that as well. I just think it's a bad idea for that game to come directly off of the release of Red Dead Redemption 2, and the anticipation really doesn't seem to be there, but Vampire was really a game that garnered traction after it was released, and after people said very good things about it, and it turned out to be a very surprisingly good game, but it's good to see a publisher like Focus Home reporting record revenue, and Vampire having tremendous success. I think that is very surprising to a lot of gamers, because again, I wasn't expecting that game to do all too well, and I did thoroughly enjoy the game, so good to see them prove me wrong on that. And that's gonna conclude this video. Again, Target is running a buy two, get one free sale right now. You can pick up games like Marvel, Spider-Man, Call of Duty, Black Ops 4, Assassin's Creed, Odyssey, Soul Calibur 6, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Dragon Quest XI is also there, so a lot of potential there in terms of getting great deals. Diablo 3 The Eternal Collection is down to $29.99. Banner Saga Trilogy is down to $19.99. Spyro and Crash will be getting a game bundle including both of those remade trilogies, and it'll be coming at $59.99. Dot Hack GU Last Recode has sold 300,000 copies in the last year, and Focus Home Interactive is reporting record revenue partially in thanks to Vampire's tremendous success. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.